Hi everyone. So in the last video, we were trying to add template from drawing. So here it is. Let's go. So right here, this is it. So you want to add a template. Remember that it accepts only pictures from here. So you can upload it. Click on upload. Now from upload right now, I'm sure you know where you've uh, um, saved it to. Make sure it is saved as JPG. All right, so I'm going to click right here. Don't worry, we're going to look at how to ensure that your file is on a JPG file. All right, so now click right here. This is your worksheet. Now, this undoes right here. This undoes right here allows you to expand. So you just come over here. When you see this sign right there, that means you can expand. So expand this worksheet right here. You expand it. All right, so the kids can see what you have in store for them. Now, this is a multiplication kind of worksheet, so I think that might not work for the previous one that we have. I think I was working on addition, but let's just use this. Now, this is what you're going to do. For instance, as a teacher, you can create a, uh, an example for them. So this is another way, the T. So let's, let's just make it a little bit uh, bigger. So let me carry it. Uh, Okay, let me carry it up right here. Now I can come over here to this icon right here, I click on that, and then I can duplicate this icon. So I can cool. How cool is this? So you're already kind of making it for the kids down so that they just need to click inside. You're not the one to, they are just to click inside, then they will see this. All right? So, teachers, this is what you can do right now to make your worksheet look editable for the kids to type inside, especially like maths or maybe even if it's uh, English, something like that. You can just create boxes for them, for the kids to work with. All right. So right now, let's say I've created. So just you can create all boxes for them for the kids. Now inside there, maybe you just don't want you double click inside and you type in your answer. Just as double click inside. Uh, Sorry about that. I'm right clicking, double click inside. Then you type in your answer. You double click inside also again. You type in your answer. So can you see this now? Now look at this. The kids can move this. You don't want them to be able to move this, right? So let me undo this. This is the undo button. So you undo it. Now, once you've undone it, what you're going to do now is that you just click on this. Once you click on the image, you're going to come over here and then you click on these three icons right now and then you lock it. So once you lock it now, nobody can move this. So the child cannot move this anymore. All right. So the child cannot move. So this is how to actually create a worksheet that is actually editable for the child to work with. All right. So this child right now can just come inside here and then edit it himself or herself. Of course, if you want to create more pages, you can click here. So that's to add more pages. Can you see? So if you want to add another worksheet again for the child, you can add another worksheet here again. So do you understand what we're trying to say? So you can create as many pages as you want, as long as you want the child to. But for now, I'm going to stick to just so you can come over here and then you can delete the page. Yes, delete. Come over here. You can delete the page yes delete so you have only one page right here left so teachers no matter the worksheet you're using always save it as a picture I'm going to show you in, in some uh, subsequent videos on how to snipe your worksheet okay once you snipe it then you can take it into your seesaw activities all right so it's best to always if it's a PDF file, if it's a Microsoft Word file, if it's a PowerPoint file, because uh, CISO doesn't accept PowerPoint, doesn't accept Word. It doesn't accept that. It only accepts PDF. Now, even though it accepts PDF, for your, uh, for your kids to work with it, you should have saved it as an image. So I will show you how to snipe uh, uh, a worksheet and save it as an image. Then you can now come over here and then edit that worksheet for a child to, be able to answer inside. Now, once you're done with this, teachers, you can view this. You can view the works of the stu uh, your students. There's a video I created for them on how to use all those tools. 
all right so as a teacher you can do this all right you can do this for your students to work with so once you're done with this then you just click right here then you've uploaded it so it's right there see it's right here you've uploaded it for the child to work with so step one step two then maybe step three I've created step three already so I just I just I already typed it somewhere so I just type and paste so this is it right here now since I've changed the template from addition so I will make it a multiplication now multiply uh, multiplication okay so I'm done with that once I'm done check uh, audio note voice note check this is the video I want check this is the template that is a check checked then i click on submit so teacher maybe you can click on step four to tell the kids that okay in step four they should always ensure to click on the uh, step four is to ensure that they always click on just to ensure that they click uh, the click on the green that's the, the green the green is the check the green icon when completed uh, <laughs> when completed uh -uh, come on when completed all right so right now then you just go over here and then you click on your save see so you see the check that's the green icon there so once you've clicked on save that's all that's all at the same time you can always edit it if you still want edit activity you can delete it okay all right so now as i've said teachers you don't need to assign it immediately just go to my library click on my library you don't need to assign it immediately at all just click on my library then you have it it's right here so you've assigned it right here so you don't always need to you know attach it immediately so that's that then you can go back to your class and you are good to go so you're going to find it this is it right here this is what you've just created this is it remember you've created it in the category of mathematics so it's right here and everything like that so you're good to go so this is how to this is the concluding uh video on how to attach a video that's how you have to attach a video in which you 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 are appearing in it you just want to give them a little bit of instructions from the video maybe you want to show them something is how to attach the video and once you're done this is how to also attach a worksheet all right that you actually worked on you made it an editable worksheet for the kids to be able to type inside all right so this is how it is done okay teachers good job everyone well done Bye for now. Bye.